Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and this is my daughter, Jedi Perillo, over the weekend. I, that was, I, I moved her arm up there. Oh, oh, let's keep you away from those. Over the weekend, her at at rocking horse arrived, crafted by Bonsai Baby. I streamed it live on Facebook Live uh, the other night, and then we also vlogged it. Uh, hopefully, I'll be showcasing it again in a, a live public broadcast soon. It's not here, it's really big. Uh, she's not scared of it, and that was the thing I was most worried about. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about about today. Uh, th this is something that maybe you'll get into, something that I didn't necessarily get into when I was younger, but uh, it's a thing. People collect Disney pins, and you know it's a Disney pin because the back, the pin back, is a little mouse. If you ever get a quote-unquote Disney pin that doesn't have a mouse back, it's probably not an officially sanctioned Disney pin. I specifically focus on Darth Vader Disney pins, and I have not all of them, I wish I did. Uh, there are quite a few. They're released constantly. And I'm always looking uh, for the new Disney pins. They can often be found in the Disney parks. Sometimes online. Sometimes they are uh, super exclusive. This is one of the newer uh, Darth Vader Disney pin acquisitions. Uh, I don't collect all, as I said, all Disney pins. Everyone's got to focus. I don't know if I'd necessarily be as excited for every other Disney pin. But if it's Darth Vader, then I am absolutely excited. So, yeah, this is Darth Vader again. This is uh, from uh, for people sold only to people or given only to people who have a certain credit card and I did not have that credit card but I was able you got her hun okay but I was able to acquire it I was able to exchange some of the gift cards that I earned courtesy of go.tagjag.com slash free points because you get pay you can get PayPal through them and uh, so I exchanged the PayPal for uh, for the pin and it worked, and I know it's official, not only because this one came with a card back, that I'm likely to keep on the card, uh, but it also has the uh, Mickey Mouse ears pin back. Yeah, you found your Kylo Ren ball. How'd it get over here? Okay. She's got a little sparkly Kylo Ren ball. Uh, but it, it, this shows Darth Vader uh, he's standing up against, it looks like uh, he's force choking someone. And uh, it says Disney 2016 uh, for the, the credit card there that I don't have. Disney pins are a thing. This is this is a new one, very exclusive. I like the exclusive ones, especially when I get them at a good price, because there are fewer available. So that's another one. This is one that I know my dad would be excited for. He's not a pin collector. He's not really. He, he collects hats, or he collected hats in the past and motorcycle toys. Uh, this is uh, an officially licensed. Now this is not a Disney pin, FYI. It's a Darth Vader pin. Okay, I have to say that. This is a bonus, if you will. What you want up on Dad's lap again? Okay. Okay. There's there there you go because I'm playing with these pins. This is not a Disney pin, but it is a licensed Star Wars pin with MLB, and I know it's not a Disney pin because when you turn it around, you can see it does not have the Mickey Mouse ears. But what it is, it's a collectible lapel pin. It is useless to resist. It's got Darth Vader on it, and it's with the uh, Mariners. Yeah, the Seattle Mariners. So I collect sports stuff if Darth Vader's on it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's true, Darth. What? Oh, Yoda. Where'd you get that? She got a little Yoda puppet. Mm, strong with the force you are. <laughs> Put it on your finger, you did. <laughs> Not a Disney pin, but it is a collectible pin. Uh, the other day, I was looking for this. This one right here. This little Darth Vader egg. Stylized Darth Vader egg. Uh, and I was looking forever. I was looking. I, I didn't know where it was. I was like, Diana, I can't find it. I was just... You couldn't convince me that it, it wasn't lost. And the thing was... Uh, uh, well, you just got off, and you want back up? You want back up? Okay. You know, you stay here for a second until Daddy finishes what his thoughts are here. Okay, so I thought I had this. I thought I ordered this separately. I didn't. It hadn't arrived. I was looking fruitlessly during the live broadcast for a pin that wasn't here. <laughs> Jedi gets it. Thank you. Thank you. She didn't even know what she... You, you knew what you were laughing at, didn't you? Yeah? These are Disney pins from Disney Parks. It's special. These are eggs. They're around, they, they, they were just released around Easter. We have Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, and then uh, Darth Vader. And the reason why I got the full set, um, and, and yes, by the way, Mickey Mouse back. The reason why I got the full set was because uh, getting just one online was like ha half as much as getting all six. I'm like, well, I might as well get all six, hold on to them, and you know, maybe Jedi will get into them at some point. You never know. They're collectible. And they are very valuable and, and will continue to accrue in value. It's the reason why I, I have a lot of fun chasing Darth Vader. I chase Darth Vader stuff. Uh, so those that's my recent pin haul. My Disney pin haul. Star Wars pin haul. Disney pin haul. What, what would you call this haul? 
It's a it's a recent haul. I don't I don't get them all the time, but uh, every so often they just they come in they come in uh, what what's the saying? They come in waves. Yeah. They well you what yeah. what yeah. what what do you see? Yeah, you see the Darth Vader up there. Yeah, that's a Darth Vader. I can't tell what you're pointing at. There's a lot to point at in here. That's the dog. That is not a Darth Vader. Oof, the oof is right. Oof. Uh, okay, that's my haul for today. I am now going to move on to answering question, uh, questions from the community of my patrons, and then moving on to shutting that cabinet door because there are things in there that uh, Jedi should not be playing with. Uh, and then uh, talking about the news and stuff. Do this live every single weekday. Love doing it with my family. It's, it's, it's fun to do it with them in here because it makes it feel like it, I'm less alone talking to a, a screen, which you are. You're a screen. Congratulations. Uh, so, time to answer some questions. If you want to hear me answer those questions, head over to chrisperillo.com. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com. <laughs>